and welcome to our kids church today. It's really great to be able to join together and learn a bit more about God, isn't it? Now today we are starting a series where we are going to be looking at the Bible from now all the way to Easter, looking at some of the really big and important key stories that the Bible teaches us. And the great thing is, is that you can join in with all the sessions at home by checking out this website. Now, each week there are about four sessions that you and your whole family can join in with throughout the week as we learn more about the Bible. Now, I don't know about you, but when I pick up a book to read, I like to start at the very beginning. And that's because a story goes from the beginning through to the end. So what do you remember about the beginning of the Bible? Maybe you could pause the video now and have a chat with those in your house about what you remember from the beginning of the Bible. So today, we're talking about the Tower of Babel and there is a great video for you to watch that summarises this story and the stories that have come before it in this series really, really well. Now, that video you will find on our website, um, on the Today's Activity page, and you can also find that video on the website for the greatest story ever org which is the um, one that we were using for our devotions through the next few Sundays as well as you guys being able to access that um, at home to do the stories in between. So the story we're looking at today is the Tower of Babel and you will find this story in Genesis 11 in your Bibles if you want to have a read. Now if you already watched the story but earlier and you can't really remember it so well or you don't fancy going and watching it right now, here's a quick version so you can keep up to date. So God created a perfect world. That's right at the start of the Bible. And he created people to share this perfect world with. But people started to make wrong choices and that started way back in the beginning when there were only two people, just Adam and Eve. And these wrong choices caused a separation between God and people. As more people filled the earth, they carried on making wrong choices. And that's when God decided to flood the earth and begin again. That's the story of Noah and his big boat. Do you remember that one? I bet you do. Now, after Noah um, and the big boat, the world filled up with people again. And then they decided that they would try to make a really big tower. They wanted to build a tower so big that they could reach God. But the people weren't doing this in order to glorify God, they were doing it to show what they could do. They weren't giving the glory to God at all. And God didn't like this, so he decided that he would confuse the people um, so that they couldn't build the tower anymore. So he made them all speak different languages and then they couldn't understand what each other was saying and they couldn't work together to build this tower. People spread to different parts of the world, and one day, God would come to them. Hi everyone, Pop here. I'm really excited about learning how all the stories in the Bible fit together with you. Now you've watched the story video for today, and listened to Sam's recap of what's happened so far, We've got some questions for you to have a think about. Why not pause the video after I ask each question and chat to the people you're watching this with? First question is, 
How many times have people already made bad choices which have upset the plans God made for us? Why did God choose to flood the earth? What are some bad things that come from people being scattered and speaking different languages? What did God do many years later which helped to heal his people? it make you feel to know that God has promised to rescue us and take care of us? Now in our story today we heard about how the people built a tower. Now we can also build our own towers as we talk to God and we can use resources in our own homes to build the tower. So maybe it's about grabbing some books and building a tower. Or maybe it might be going into the cupboard in the kitchen and getting some tins to build a tower. Or maybe at home you've got Lego or Jeep Play, which you can use as well to build a tower. Now, as you build your tower, each block or book or tin, whatever it is you're using, can represent a different prayer. So maybe it might be that you want to pray for a particular person. Maybe you want to say thank you to God for something. You might want to even have a prayer in there where you are praying that God would help someone or a group of people. Maybe it would be a prayer about praying for people from a different culture or country. So will you join with me now as we pray together? Dear God, thank you that you know us and you care for us. Thank you that you only want the best for us. We pray that you will help us to make good choices that will make you happy. Help us to be kind to people from other cultures and who speak other languages. We are glad that even when we get things wrong, you sent Jesus so that we can be forgiven. Amen. Thanks, Claire. Well, now it's time to play a game. And this is a whispering game. You might have played it before. What you need to do is you need to think of a word or a sentence that you want to pass on to someone else in your household. In fact, if you can get everyone in your household together for this game, that will work really well. So you pass your word or your sentence to someone else in your household, but the way you do it is by whispering in their ear. And you need to do it really quietly so nobody else can hear. And you're only allowed to say it once. And then that person has to pass the message on to someone else in the same way by whispering and only saying it once. But they might not hear exactly what you said. So you might find that your message ends up different at the end to the beginning. Why don't you get everyone together and have a go now? So what happened when you played the game? Did your message end up being the same at the end as it was at the beginning? Well, sometimes messages change slightly as they get passed on. Well, hope you enjoyed playing that game. We've got a challenge for you now. Remember in the story 
that the people were building a tower and they were trying to build a really tall tower. Well, we would like you to have a go yourselves at building a tower, a really tall tower. And we'd like you please to send in some photos of you with your tower or just your tower itself. It's totally up to you. Now you can use anything you want. You could use some building blocks that you might have at home, or you could even, if you want a real big challenge, you could use some playing cards where you stack the cards up, but that is really tricky because any little bit of movement and they all fall down. Or you could just grab some stuff from your recycling box. I was going to show you, but ours got emptied yesterday. So anyway, use whatever you like, build a tall tower, and send us your photos in. And before I go, here's one more challenge for you to have a think about. The builders in our story today left God out of their project. He wasn't on their team. And they didn't use their brains and their hands in ways that pleased him. What about us? What about us this week? How can we make sure that we act and think as if we are on God's team? Now, you may have already had a look at the website that we're basing this series on. Um, there was an email sent out earlier in the week, so your parents may well have shared that with you and you might have talked about some of the stories. On that website, there is a resource that you can either print off or copy down for yourself with your own pictures to describe the different stories that we are going to be learning about as we cover the entire Bible from now until Easter. So if you would like to, you can either copy the information out or you can print these and then you can hang them at home on a special Bible storyline. So that is what we are going to do now. So I have my cards and I'm going to hang them over my line, which I've actually set up right in front of me. Uh, and I'm going to glue them around the line so they don't fall off. And the stories that we have looked at, there we go. I'm gonna hang on my line like a little flag. On the front there's a nice picture, and then on the back it tells you where the story is found in the Bible and a few bullet points that summarize what it tells us. Now the stories that we have um, looked at today are from the beginning section on that website and they are creation, temptation, flood and tower. Now we're doing quite a few stories each week because there is so much to cover in the Bible and it would take us the entire year to do each, well, just one session, one story a week. Um, and we don't really want to spend the entire year doing that because who knows what other exciting things this year has to bring us. So we are condensing it down, but there is plenty of opportunity by using that website um, for you guys to look at these stories in more detail at home. Now next week the section we're looking at is the second section which is called Families and we will be focusing on the story of Jacob. So if you would like to look at the other stories in that section yourselves then you can go ahead and do that um, and you can either cover Jacob as well and we'll come back and look at it together anyway or um, you can do the other um, stories from that section and then you can um, look at Jacob with us in a bit more detail. So we really look forward to seeing you next week and we look forward to seeing any pictures that you send us from any of the activities and things you've been doing or any of your very own um, Bible storylines that you create for yourselves. Bye!